Good morning, Pride Cubs. Today is Monday, January 7th, 2018. Welcome to the Cub Report, your daily source of information about what's going on here at Park. We kick off the Cub Report by celebrating today's birthdays. For lunch today, in addition to all the usual items in the center station, we will have Italian meatball sub, sandwich, and fries. It's now time to read off some high five awards. Thank you, Mrs. Cragen, for helping me in ELA. To Mrs. Cragen from Emilio. Thank you, Mrs. Cragen, for being nice from Emilio and Jose. Students, you can recognize something a park student staff member has done by filling out a park high five award outside of Mr. Osborne's office. We are in a new year, but the school expectations still remain the same. Here's a recap of some of our Park 15. Excuse me, sir, who won the soccer game yesterday? The Vea, good morning. Good morning. It was, a, it was a really good game. We wish you could have uh, been there. Unfortunately, we lost by one point. Devastating, but next game is Monday at home. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. What's up, Jocelyn? Can I leave my bag? Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Hello, sir. What are we going to be doing today? Today, in third period, we're going to be practicing our B-flat major scale and then doing a playing test. Excuse me, ma'am. When is the parade? Monday the 28th. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Also remember to wear your IDs at all times. Make sure they are out and visible. Winter 2 sports have started. Girls basketball reports to the gym right after school and wrestling reports to the back gym. 8th graders, you can get your baby picture in this year's yearbook. You will just need to bring in your baby picture and one dollar to Lorena in the office. This is always a fun addition to the yearbook. Get your picture and dollar into Lorena today. It's Monday, which means time for another mindfulness video. Here's our new thought for the week. I have a problem with New Year's resolutions, not because they often fail or because they're too difficult, and not because I'm bad at them either. I mean, I've only been in love for four new years. No, I have a problem with resolutions because people think that that's it. It's for one time to change. Now, don't get me wrong, we definitely all need change. I have no idea how to ride a bicycle and my little brother has no idea what a toy is for. And some of you, yeah, you should probably should get out of the house more, but one big decision probably isn't going to do it. Sorry. So now what? Flush your resolutions down the toilet for one my little brother can't use? Of course not. Keep your resolutions but go easy on yourself. Will you change? Maybe, but probably won't happen in one big moment. It'll happen in for thousands of little moments. Every time you choose to forgive or slow down or be grateful or stay calm each little moment that you choose what's what instead of what's easy. Faith instead of doubt. Love instead of hate. That's where the change happens. Even if you fail one or two or thirty times, it's okay. You've got thousands of more little moments ahead of you. You'll get better. So happy new year, God bless, and I'm off to ask my dad to get a bike, if they're all a pony. Bye. Remember, all cover reports can be found online by going to 
www.youtube.com slash parkmidschoolcubs. That's all for today, Cubs. I'm Ian AC. And I'm Nevaeh. Your 7th grade A's B officers. And remember, all park Cubs are capable of success, no exceptions. <laughs>